So we might as well kick right into the other point of view, which is coming up from Gary in Bristol. Let me just try and get him on the line. Gary, welcome to the show, my friend. What do you think of that? I think it is an outrage to let prisoners have the vote. I shall tell you why. Why? Because anybody that commits a crime, uh, you know, is removed from society, is no longer deemed fit to participate in society, and therefore put in jail. Yeah? He, uh, why, in God's name, should a bunch of uh, paedophiles, rapists, thieves and murderers be allowed to dictate the government of this land? Well, they're hardly dictating the government of this land. There's only 85,000 of them spread out among 650 constituencies. Well, it, it's... It doesn't matter if they determine the entire election. The, ma the fact of the matter is, why are we allowing them to vote? They have committed, some of, these, some of these people, not all of them, have committed absolutely heinous crimes. Well, actually, the vast majority of them have not committed absolutely heinous crimes. They're the 30 or 40 who will never get out. There are a number of others who are murderers, of course, but the vast majority of the 85,000 are neither murderers nor have they committed heinous crimes. But didn't you hear, Garrick, or, or couldn't you understand the argument that a former prisoner has just been making? That the, 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 the task is to have the rehabilitation of these prisoners for our sake, not for their sake. This is not liberalism. You mean, you mean that axe murderer? The axe murderer that no. campaigned? Yeah, him. No, I don't... Him, that idiot. Yes, no. mate, yes. You're, yes, actually, yes, yes. you're actually sounding a bit like an axe murderer yourself, so why don't you calm down? Because people will be wondering just precisely why you've got so het up about 85,000 people across 650 constituencies putting an X on a piece of paper. Just exactly why are you so exercised about this? Do you, you know what makes me angry, mate? Okay, last year, my brother was assaulted. He was badly beaten by uh, another young lad his age, and that young lad was sent to jail, okay? He deserves to go to jail. He beat the crap out of my brother, and he deserves what he gets, and he deserves the duration of his stay in prison not to be able to vote. Well, do you really think that's a major punishment for the prisoner, not being able to vote? It's... I mean, you're, you're talking as if that was somehow uh, a part of a, uh, some kind of uh, punishing regime that's going to uh, cow this young man who beat up your brother into behaving differently. But you, you can't really believe that, do you? Um, no, but it is a matter of principle. Isn't it? Well, no, it's not a huge pun. It's a matter of principle. Well, well, Why well, are we allowing these people who, you know, you break the laws of the land, you are put into confinement uh, away from the rest of society. Therefore, you cannot participate in society. Why, and in God's name, should, you know, are they allowed to stand as MPs? No, they're not. No, they're well, not. Like, no, they're not. Exactly. So why can they vote for MPs? It's well, absurd. of course, the, the, there have been MPs sent to prison, and uh, who knows, in the future, that may, that may yeah, happen sure. again. But I'm just, I'm honestly, I mean this, Gary, I'm honestly at a loss. Yeah. as to why you are verging on hysteria about this. You don't seem to be able to grasp this simple point, that it's in our interests that Is people it? come out of prison better than when they went in. Otherwise, you see, they'll just come out and return to a life of crime and beat uh, somebody else's brother. Don't uh, you understand that we're trying to reform these people so that they won't beat other people's brothers up? And that I mean, this not, may be just one small way of doing that. Well, the vast majority of them reoffend. But that's precisely the point. They, at the moment, don't have a vote, so that can't be the reason, can it? It must be other well, reasons why they so, reoffend. Okay, so let me get this straight. So what you're saying is, um, by giving the prisoner the ability to participate in determining our government, it is somehow going to um, make their experience there a little bit better, and therefore there's less of a chance that they'll reoffend. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, we, well, you're asking me. Why don't me... we give them roses? Why don't we give them video games? Well, well, why don't we send them love letters? Well, I don't know. Well, we I'm make? sure that some people send them love letters, and I'm sure that some of them have video games. The difference between you and me is 
I don't think this is very important, one okay. way or the other. I'm just puzzled as to why you think it's so important. My view is this, that it's very important that prisons are not an even more brutalizing, even more uncivilized place, not because I love prisoners, but because I love society. And I don't want these prisoners coming out even worse people than they were when they went in. So I'm for any kind of measure, small, medium or large, that can help us have less reoffending criminals who come out of prison. Gary, it's been a pleasure to disagree with you, but I've got to take a break because it's news time.